Yeah, what we got, what we got. Woo! Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it is so hot. <laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We're headed back out to the pier today. We're gonna see if we can get on these jacks again. They have been whooping me lately. Have not had much of a chance to get one landed. Every time I hook one, I get broke off. So uh, we're gonna see if we can't get after them today. We got a nice southeast wind, which is usually good for the kings. The water has been a little dirty after that tropical storm, but see if some clean water pushes in, if so we may try to get after some kings, but just gonna see what all we can get on. Hope y'all enjoy it. Let's go. All right guys, the water is super dirty this morning. I'm sure it's hard to tell right now, but so we're gonna start down here in the shallows, see if we can get some redfish or trout. Got some live shrimp. Size 4 J hook here. Hook it in the tail. I got eight pound fluorocarbon leader. I just got one little split shot up here. Keep that weight down. Let's see if we can find something out here this morning. Fish of the morning on here. Let's see what we got. Feels like a decent little red. Get him out from under this pier. Oh yeah, nice red fish. <laughs> hey, Grant was on his way with the net, and I decided I was gonna flip him and lost him. I got you. Why'd you flip? You stupid! Aye, aye, aye! Alright, no more flipping fish today. We got a net, might as well use it. That was not very smart. Good, another shrimp on here. Hopefully, we can find us another one. I lost another one. I am 0 for 1 on slot reds. No point, no point. Ooh, what's all that? Is that bait or somebody throwing, uh, somebody's throwing a bubble rig or something? Grant's got him a little light tackle action going on. Big rub on the pile. Big rub. Don't break him. Cat, where's he at? He's so far. Don't let him whoop you. Four pound test. Nice red. Got him. On the surface. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he may be a tad short there, buddy. It's probably about 14 and a half. 15. 15 and a half. Biggest fish. What's he like? Got another fish on here, guys. We're not gonna try to flip this one. We're gonna let Grant do his job. Get back over here. Get back over here. Oh, he's running, he's running. Dang it! Don't worry about it, Grant. Broke me off. That was a good fish. I don't know, never saw it. He was peeling drag. Peeling. Nah. Got a little red on there. I'm gonna wait on the net this time. Finally, I get one on the deck. Oh, yeah. Biggest one I've seen all day, too. That's smaller than the one you caught a minute ago. Pretty fish, guys. Four, five, six, seven spots. All right, let's get a measurement on this guy. 14 and a half. Gotta send them back. Grant trout. First trout in the morning for me. Wait on Grant with the net. He looks like he may be a little small, but we'll see when we get him up here. What do trout gotta be? 15? Heck yeah. 
Let's see, I can't remember off the top of my head what the limit on tr uh, speckled trout is. If y'all don't have the fish rolls app, you need to get the fish rolls app. Always knows where you are, tells you the rigs. 15 to 22. I'm almost certain he's 15. Yeah. Let's check him on Grant's cart. He is right at 16 inches. Heck yeah, guys. We are going to get this one in the cooler. Take him to the house. We're going to fry this puppy up tonight. Alrighty, guys. Let's see what we got this time. What we got? What we got? What we got? Come on, baby. Get back over here. That'll be easy with him. Don't want to lose another one. This one is probably a redfish. Easy does it. Filled out a lot of line. And fill it on a pylon too. Hey, this might not be a flat red. I think it's been running for sure. He's all the way on the other side of the pier. He ran underneath, not the other side. I filled my line on a pylon. I'm not sure what we got. If it is a red, it's definitely a upper slot. I only got an eight pound test on here, so try not to force him too much. Yeah, if it's a red, it's a decent one. For sure. Yeah. I got one right here. Big red, guys. Don't do it. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, there he is. Nice red. Got him in the net. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. Heck yeah, guys. All right, guys, y'all check out that red there. Nice one. Got it on the light tackle live shrimp. Only eight pound test. That is going to break me off on the pylons a couple times, but we got them in. Get a quick measurement on them real fast. 24 and a half inches. Perfect size to put in the cooler, take home, get on the grill. So we're going to take this guy, cook him up. We're going to have us a good meal tonight. Fish on. Oh, a little whiting. Nice, nice. A little small. A little small. His whiting are really good to eat, but we gotta send him on his way. A little small for the fry. All right, guys, we are back at the house. About to clean up these fish. Take them in the house and cook them. Gonna show you real quick how we clean them. So we got the red fish and the speckled trout. Go ahead and get them out. Now, if you've never cleaned redfish, they can be a bit difficult. These redfish do have big scales, so I like to use this serrated knife. That's just going to help kind of cut through those scales, makes it a whole lot easier. You start up here by the head, make a first little cut right behind that fin. And I like to spin it around. We're going to work our way down the spine here, or the backbone. The scales really get in the way here. Just want to keep that blade pointed down on the bones there. Then these redfish have a huge rib bones. So it can be a little tricky to get over these ribs here. This is probably the hardest part, honestly. Getting over that rib cage. I see those rib bones right there. That's it. First fillet we got there. Nice looking meat. Then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to fry up this redfish in the last video y'all saw. Y'all saw us grill it, do it a little uh, redfish on the half shell. So we are going to fry this, so we'll go ahead and get this meat off the scales here. Just want to pinch that tail 
This is much easier with the regular fillet knife versus the serrated, but that is all I've got with me right now. So just gonna cut that meat right off the skin. There you go, got the skin there. I did cut around those rib bones, which would be here. If you end up cutting through them, you can cut those rib bones out too. And then they got some pin bones that run right here in the middle. So we're gonna make sure we get those bones out there. Cut this little bit of stuff off here. That is our finished redfish fillet right there. That's gonna go perfect on some batter. Get it in some hot oil. It's gonna be delicious. All right guys, now we're gonna clean up this trout. Just gonna make one cut here. We're gonna turn that knife right up the backbone. Just work it down like so. All right, so they got those rib bones right in here too, so we're gonna take the knife and cut those out real quick. Just like so. Make sure we get any pin bones that may be left in there. Looks like there's still a couple right up here. Then we're just gonna skin the meat right off of here. These are gonna be delicious in the fryer. If you've never had fried speckled trout, it is good. So that's how we're gonna try it this evening. Cut the bones out of this one. Not the prettiest looking fillets I've ever had. Did something with my fillet knife, I cannot find it. So all I'm stuck with is this serrated, but still gets the job done. We're gonna rinse these off, get them in the house. We're gonna soak them in milk for a minute, get them in some uh, breading. We're gonna toss them in the fryer, and it's gonna be good. Let's go. All right guys, we are back at the house now, about to cook up some of this fish. I did put it in a little bit of milk. We're gonna go ahead and get the flour ready for what we're gonna to toss this fish in. A little bit of flour. We're gonna use some Everglades fish and chicken. Season that flour good. You can never go too heavy on the seasoning. Of course, <coughs> got flour on my hands. <laughs> of course, some garlic powder. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of black pepper in there as well. Put the lid on here. Make sure that's mixed up real good. Let's go ahead and get the oil turned on. Don't ever let Freddy touch your stove. He'll turn it off while you're trying to cook. I don't want to burn if the butter. If you miss that video, I'll have it linked down <laughs> in the description. But Freddy likes to turn the stove off while you're cooking. I don't want to burn the butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses, <laughs> excuses. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab the speckled trout fillets first. Get them in here. This container makes it real nice when you're frying fish. Just lock that lid down, toss it around. Get it evenly coated. If you don't have a container like this, you can use a Ziploc bag, works just as good. But All right, we got the fish coated, waiting on the oil to heat up. When the oil is heated up, we'll catch y'all back. We'll toss these in the oil, get them fried up. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, we're waiting on the oil to heat up now. So we went out to the pier. I got out there kind of expecting to try to go out, maybe target some jacks, see if we can find some kings or something like that on the end. But we got there and the water was freaking chocolate milk. It was so dirty. That tropical storm we had come through just messed up everything. So we ended up running, went and grabbed some live shrimp, completely changed our plans. Ended up sitting over at the shallows there right off the beach. Got these nice red fish and the speckled trouts. So anytime you're going out fishing, if you can take multiple baits, have multiple options with you. So if whatever you're trying to target is not ideal that day, you can completely change focus, go after something different. Worked out for us. So looks like the oil's getting heated up. We're gonna get this fish ready. This is what Freddie does best. All right guys, oil is hot now. We're gonna go ahead and get this trout in the grease. We're gonna get the redfish over here. Toss it in there. All right, these pieces of redfish are pretty big, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut them up. Let's give them something a little smaller to work with here. 
<laughs> what happened? <laughs> Put the knife in the sink, blade up, wash my hands, flick the water off, slung my finger right into the oh, freaking man. knife. Alright, wrap it up. <laughs> Alright, put the lid on here with this fish. Little shake and bake. Ricky Bobby! Alright, clip this fish here. Avengers band aids. <laughs> For superheroes. That's what right? we're. Superheroes. <laughs> Little What's your favorite way to do speckled trout? Right, for sure. You should yeah. do that. I've not cooked a whole lot of speckled trout, but definitely fried. I, I think that's the only way I've ever actually even had it. It's fried. I wonder how black it would be. I'm sure it's pretty good. Yeah. The only thing with speckled trout, it is, it's not mushy, um, but it is definitely a softer meat. Um, so I don't know how well it would hold up. At least once you get the batter and everything on there, it does pretty well fried, but I don't know. Y'all comment down below and let me know your favorite way to cook a pepper trout. We'll get these out here. And in goes the redfish. Alright. This is gonna be good. Pretty good size right there. What did that come in at? It was uh, 24 inches. Woo! Off the pier too. Wow. All right, redfish is definitely done here. Get these out of the fryer. They're looking good. All right, so we got the redfish here, speckled trout here. Gonna let them cool off just a minute. We're gonna try and see which one's better. Y'all comment down below, let me know. Do you like redfish or speckled trout better? We're about to find out which one we like. All right guys, fish is done. We are gonna see which one tastes better. We're gonna try the speckled trout first. Well, that's a big piece. Try the speckled trout. That was good. Super flaky. Honestly, I probably could have put a little more seasoning in the uh, flour there, but it is a good fish. Definitely a nice, mild white meat fish. Speckled trout, some good stuff. Jump on over to this red fish real quick. Woo! Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> It was still hot. <laughs> Did it burn your taste buds off? No, but that's good. That, I think that's better. Really? It's hot as crap. Then the speckled trout? It's hot. I think that is better than the speckled trout for wow. real. Wow. I was not expecting that. I've never eaten these side by side before. I've had both of them. I don't think I've ever had redfish fried though. <laughs> I'm gonna try a speckled trout again, make sure. <laughs> meat is white. They're both so good though. I choose redfish. Let's see what Freddy wow. thinks. Alright, Freddy's gonna give it a try here. Let me do the speckled trout first. He missed his mouth. <laughs> I did. What do you think about the seasoning? The seasoning is Could good. Could have been more. But the flour is a little bit extreme. Could have been, well, Could've, yeah. Could, Could have been, been a little bit more seasoning. In the flour. Yeah, in the yeah. flour. Could have been a little bit more. Other than that, that's my first time trial, trying speckled trout, and that's pretty yeah. good. But let's see what the hype is about this redfish, real quick.
better? What that's do you pretty, think? That's pretty dang good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's maybe one more bite, let's figure it out. I don't get to eat that much as a cameraman, so. <laughs> I always enjoy when Brad does catch and cook videos because that means I get to eat. I do let them eat. It's just usually off camera. <laughs> and we did the same seasoning for both, right? Yep, exact same. So I don't know. It's just the fish in general. I think it just tastes better. You do like the redfish better? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm rooting for the redfish. That's really freaking good. Heck yeah. We'll try one more piece just to make sure. That redfish is freaking good. It is good. That redfish is something. I think I can catch this. Mmm. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. We're gonna go ahead and eat the rest of this fish. If y'all did enjoy it, make sure you check out this other catch and cook right here. We did some red fish on the half shell. It was freaking phenomenal. So y'all go check out that video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so now. And until next time, y'all take care.